Okay. Um, so take out your code that's easy to mention, highlight the, oper the different operations that are represented, and the numbers that you actually copy about. So the first statement, four times, four times, this is operation, four times is multiplication. So I want you to just go, okay, it's going to be a four, and I'm going to put a dot to represent time. Okay, the sum, the word sum in math represents what? Represents adding. But do you notice as you're reading it, it kind of sounds like it's grouped together? Four times the sum of. The sum of is going to be like a I want you to turn that into just your va a variable, whatever your favorite variable is. This time, this time, you could use n if you want. Four times the sum of a number and two, okay? And two, two is a two is that. But we're talking about the sum of those two things. So we actually want to take this plus sign and we want to move it right there in between because we want to add those two things. Does that make sense? The plus sign actually comes from the statement the sum. We're doing a sum of the number. We don't know what number is. And then two comes from the and two. That all makes sense? Come at me if it doesn't, of course. Um, is the same as, what does that mean in math? Is the same as, is the same as, means equals, so write down the equal sign. Two multiplied by, what is that? Two multiplied by, that's two times. Two times, one less than. That's another operation. One less than. Is that one minus one? One less than? Minus one, because you're subtracting one. Does that make sense? One less than. So that actually turns into minus one. Minus one, not one minus. You guys see the distinction? Six times a number. Six times a number. Six times is six dot a number. We said it was x. So six times x. Okay, now we gotta kind of piece it together so that it makes a mathematical sense with the symbols. Okay, and as we do that, we have to kind of reread it so that we can place it in the appropriate way. Okay. By the way, again, if you're reading that and you try to read this whole thing and understand exactly what's going on, you're not gonna do it well. Okay, if you read it. Turn little parts of the symbols, write it down, talk to the and then go back and read it as a whole message, and then try to put it into a couple of people who are not very successful. I'll be 100% honest. That is exactly what I have to do to be able to do that. And I know that I'm really good at that. Okay? And I have to do that. Which is a strong skill that I can use to say that if I have to do it, and I'm really good at it. That's just the reality. Okay? So, it's the reality. Okay, so let's read it. Four times the sum of love. Four times the sum of four times. No one was going to see what four times the sum of love is. It's coming to the world. Four times the sum of love. A number of two. Which would be x plus two, we run. And then, okay. End parenthesis. Is the same as equals. Two multiplied by, okay, another grouping thing, two multiplied by, that refers to, oh, we're going to start grouping this and put it together. Two multiplied by one less, that was minus one, wasn't it? Six times a number, or six X. There you go. Does that make sense? In order to do these successfully, you have to talk it out to yourself as you're reading it. Okay? If you're not going to choose to talk it out, you're just not going to be successful.
If you want to choose, if you're going to choose to talk it out, you're going to be successful, I think. You might have some difficulties, but that's, that's the way to be successful, honestly. Okay, let's look at the next one. What I want you to do is when I went to the circle, I want to put the x next to the equation right below. Okay, let's talk to it. Um, in order, x, okay, from the equation. Okay. And the quotient is added to. Okay. Um. And and the quotient. That's just referencing the n divided by four that we just wrote out. So we actually don't officially need that. Okay. We really just need is added to three. Is added to three, so that you plus three. The result is 24. Result being 24 is equal 24. Okay? Do you guys see how that directly correlates with what's below? Okay. Hopefully you can find the match and you can understand. Um, if you can't, so that's my Okay. So if I Equals 24 is right there, the green stuff. Okay, see how I match this? Should, I should have done this in green. Okay. So I'm going to add some back to back and see why that matches. Okay, so let's try to set it up again in the next one. Okay, on the next one, on the next one, read through it, read through it, do what I did, and in the symbols, and then I'm going to have the statement um, after the symbols. I don't know. So so just go ahead and try to circle them, change them into symbols, and try to write the equation. Here we go. success if you do it that way, rather than putting it all together. All right, let's do it. That being said, let's get it done. 2 is subtracted from. That is minus 2, not 2 times. Okay? Minus 2 is subtracted. 2 is subtracted from. From a number. I'm going to use R because that's fun and that's my name. And the difference, so it's that whole thing. And the difference is multiplied by 5. So that whole thing is multiplied by 5. And the result, result is 30. So it's going to equal 30. Now we're going to back step again. We've got to repeat the assignment time. So we're going to back step again. We're going to say 2 is subtracted from 1. Okay? Now we're going to do the same. 2 is subtracted from a number. A number, R, is going to be 2 is going to be subtracted from as minus 2. Okay? Then the difference, which means that whole thing, and it's got to be in parentheses to get it right, because that whole thing is times 5, that result is 30. Okay? Let's do it again. 3 is multiplied by 3. 3 is multiplied by 3 times a number. Let's use R. And that whole thing is added to that whole thing is added to eight. The result. The result is eighty-nine. So to this three R three is multiplied by a number and the result is added to eight equals eighty nine. Cool. You could have done this. That's okay. okay. If you didn't do that, it's also okay because you have to multiply first before you add anyways. Does that make sense? Mm, sure. Yeah. 
Okay, backside. <laughs> Set up five and six, please. But six, delete the word integer or even, even. On six, delete the word even. Print. Delete it. Delete it. Okay. Delete it. Make the word even go away. Okay. Make the word even go away. Get her done. Find two consecutive odd integers whose sum is 116. And then x plus 2 equals 116 as your setup. That's all. Yes. I only said that like five times. Just saying. Here we go. Two consecutive So it's going to be x plus x plus 10 is going to come out of 26. All right, and then the last one, number seven. Let's start breaking this together, the last one. Find two consecutive even integers. So one of them in it is x, the other one is x plus 2. Such that twice the lesser, which which one's lesser, the x or the x plus 2? So twice the lesser, that means 2 times x, because we x plus 2, is 4 less than, which is a minus 4, right? 2 times the greater. 2 times the greater is actually 2 times x plus 2. Does that make sense? You know what x plus 2 in parentheses there? We're doing 2 times the greater, and x plus 2 represents the greater number. So we're going to do 2x, two consecutive integers such that twice the lesser, 2x, is equal to 4 less than, so minus 2 times the bigger one, so x plus 2. Okay. All right, your homework tonight is that worksheet that's up here if you've already grabbed it, or if you haven't grabbed it. You're supposed to solve all of those equations. Front to back. Peace.